next lesson, we will be finding the diameter or radius of a circle when the circumference is given. Remember, the circumference is the distance around the circle. So our units, you'll see for our circumference, will be just in regular units. So it is a distance around the circle. The directions tell us to use 3.14 for pi. That's rounded because we know pi goes on forever. And then we're going to round our final answer to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to look at my circle and I see a diameter is actually missing. So I'm going to use the formula um, that C is equal to pi D. And now I know they gave me the circumference, so I'm putting my 135 in where my C is, because that's what circumference stands for. I'm writing 3.14 here because that's what they told me to use for pi, and then I'm leaving my D there. We know this is multiplication, so in order to find D, we will divide both sides by 3.14, and we find that our diameter, when we go ahead and we do that division, I'm just going to tell you it's 42.9999 uh, and it kind of goes on. But remember, they wanted our answer rounded to the nearest tenth. So I'm looking at my hundredths place, and since there is a nine there, I know that my diameter is going to go ahead and be equal to, I need to round up, to 43. And it is in feet. And there's your answer. So let's look at the next circle. Again, they gave us a circumference, a distance around the circle. They want us to find the radius. So we do have two formulas that we can go ahead and use. And I think I'll use the one that has the radius in there since that's what they want me to find. So again, I write my formula always. So I make sure that I substitute in my numbers in the proper areas. And my circumference is 87. I have my two, and this all means these are all being multiplied because they're written right beside each other. So I'm putting in 3.14 for my pi. And again, we're finding our radius. So in order to find our radius, we are going to have to multiply these two numbers, and it's 87 equals, it is 6.28, and there's my radius. I now am going to divide by the 6.28 on both sides of my equation, because whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. And when I do that, I end up getting, again, a number that is going to go on to a lot of decimal places. So I will go ahead and just write 13 and 85, it's going on, is equal to my radius. They wanted it rounded to the nearest tenth. So when I'm looking at this, rounding that to the nearest tenth, my radius is going to be 13 and 9 tenths, and this time our units are in yards. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.